from AI-based scanners that cut shopping time in half to smart carts that keep up with your budget. The future of retail is here, and it goes way beyond self-checkout. I'm Brittany Borer, and you're watching FI Spotlight. This week, we are going to be talking about retail tech. Our team recently traveled to the National Retail Federation's big show in New York City to take in the latest trends in the shopper's landscape. Here is just a taste of what caught our attention. So can you kind of tell me a little bit of what Radius AI is? Yeah, so Radius AI is a company that got started in ceiling camera AI analytics, uh, and that converted into a couple things, right? It turned into checkout, it turned into food, uh, food basically availability, stocking, inventory management, loss prevention, and uh, so yeah, we ended up taking our camera technology and putting it on the countertop for checkout. How is it different from any of the other products out there? So there's a number of companies kind of coming into the checkout space with AI or automated checkout, these types of things. So there's like the Amazon stores where you just don't touch anything. Um, and then there's other stores that are trying to put like a hybrid in where there's some barcode and some RFID. Um, but effectively, the one differentiator for us for all those solutions is it's a two-party device. Everything else has got a back wall, so it's a one-party device. That's where there's a lot of problems around loss prevention, right? Because at the end of the day, if you leave a human alone with the machine, you end up having some possible problems, right? The second issue uh, or, or differentiator is that ceiling cameras works with this. It's not required, but you can add ceiling cameras with your checkout, so the customer journey is a complete solution, meaning we understand all the movement, all the heat maps, all the affinities, uh, and then the final conclusion is how, what did they buy? So that's a big differentiator. Now, um, a lot of customers, like we look at convenience stores, a lot of them have been kind of holding off on self-checkout. Um, some people have gone into self-checkout and then said, hey, this has been terrible. We're getting a lot of theft. People are duping barcodes. So like, turn it off or like, I want to change. So we get a lot of, you know, we're talking to a lot of the big companies like the Fortune 10 um, saying, we're not getting rid of it. We're just rethinking it. Um, and others that are like, never done it before. And I just want to make sure we kind of do it right. So we feel like we've got the perfect balance of not the barcode, which is kind of blind, um, but being able to see your hands, see the product, see the packaging, and so that's why we're different. Can you bring me through the whole process of how this actually works? Yeah, let's trade sides. Sure. So you put the products on the counter and it instantly tallies that up and now your basket is ready. You push checkout and you can go, okay? So let's say in today's market, you've got a lot of packaging changes, a lot of hybrids, right? So I got Oreo Coca-Colas and birthday cake Kit Kats and all kinds of weird stuff. This will represent that. This is a product with packaging I've never seen, okay? So what it does is it says, hey, I don't know what that is, right? So it says there's a device here, a product here, I don't know what it is. If I flip it over, it's gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna say, hey, I see that actually, I know that barcode, it's in my UPC. So start learning the packaging of this. Start learning all the sites, right? Because what happens, the way that this is fast is because I've already seen it before you put it down. That's why the goal is five, the goal is 500 milliseconds to get everything on that table calculated into your basket. And so if you think about it, your, your time to check out is improved by a couple hundred percent. Instead of spending minutes of bagging and barcoding and all these things, I just put it all there, it checks it all out, and it's good to go. This company is in operation in five countries and is looking to enter the, the U.S. market, and there's a lot of exciting developments here. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Yeah, of course. So um, we're, uh, we're a European company. We operate mainly in Southern Europe so yeah. far. We're already in, Amer in an American uh, continent through Brazil. So we have an office in Sao Paulo, already have an active store and clients in, uh, in, the, in the Brazilian market. Uh, this year we made a major breakthrough, so we opened uh, the biggest autonomous store in the world with over 1.2 thousand square meters. Uh, it's in Portugal, and basically a full-fledged full supermarket with assisted sales, all the normal assortment that the store has, and over six checkout lanes with, with our technology. Your expectation when you go shopping for your weekly groceries or something is that you can see what you're going to pay before you pay. So um, our solution allows that to continue and so you don't disrupt customer expectations. So basically, I can actually show you here now. So when you enter our store, you're being anonymously tracked by the system. Uh, the system recognizes all the products in the, cell, in the shelf, so basically when I pick up a product, the product is uh, taken out of the store inventory and added to my basket. If I put it back in the same place or in a different place, it basically updates the store inventory and uh, updates my digital basket. So uh, what happens is, in other solutions, uh, we also have, sorry, we also have assisted sales, so bakery, butcher, fishmonger, we have different, different um, options of how to deal with everything that is assisted sales with so with someone behind the counter serving the customer and um, 
The major difference is that I could have a basket of 100 items right now, a full basket full of products, and with our technology, you just need to tap a screen and the basket will appear automatically. So in this case, there are two people in the checkout area, which is me and you, mm -hmm. but only I have one product, which is this. If you step a little bit back, this updates automatically. It says that it's only one people with the same products. So basically, this is our solution. We can also do an unattended format with card or app at the entrance. We also have them live, those solutions. It's a major solution for the large grocery uh, and traditional grocery uh, stores. So um, we've been expanding quite a lot in that segment as well. Yeah, and it definitely seems like there's such an, a demand for this sort of streamlined convenience right now mm -hmm. with um, with a lot of like just walk out technologies and things like that. But also just when consumers are sort of being pulled about what they're looking for, they're looking for convenience, uh -huh. but they're also looking looking for a product diversity. Yeah, they're also yeah. looking for a lot of, they don't want to compromise on what they're eating. So exactly. it seems like there's also some streamlined solutions in that in that respect. Do you That's mind it. talking towards this? That's it, yeah. So basically we can have what the full-fledged supermarket offers. So we can have a fishmonger again, we can have a butcher, we can have fresh foods, fruits and vegetables uh, that can be weighted. So we can have a normal supermarket without disrupting any of the, the customer expectations on what should be an experience in a supermarket, but also without disrupting the retailer's operations. So we made everything so the retailer can keep his operation, operations running smoothly without, uh, without any disruption. Can you tell me what is Shopreme? Yeah, Shopreme is a self-checkout provider from Europe and we are the provider of you know, over 1,500 stores of retailers such as Aldi Group or uh, Auchan Retail and Rebe Group in Europe. So we're the largest provider of mobile scan and go solutions, but we also do have hardware products like the Supreme Vector Exit Solution and our self-checkout kiosk, the Supreme Matrix. How does the store know that it's, the items are not being stolen? How do you know that it's going to be purchased? Yeah, so we have typically three pillars how we are dealing with that. So on the one hand, we have the psychological pillar. We make customers aware there can be spot checks and there might be checks at the end of the journey. But we also have uh, training processes for employees so that they are aware what are the typical fraud scenarios. But most importantly is the technological side. So we do have physical points in the store that are optional, but we very much recommend them, where customers can do the checkout process. So supervisors or the store associates, they have a central point in the store to do spot checks, and our system actually selects customers for spot checks, but also which items should be checked, and um, we also train on these interactions. So our system learns by the time, and we are very efficient with that in over 1,500 stores in Europe. Test the uh, Absolutely. Okay. Um, so follow me around. Sure. <laughs> I will do a quick check here. Um, so this is the scan and go app. If I'm now in the store of the customer, uh, the customer is now in the store. I can now. I'm automatically recognized to be in this specific store um, with these items available, and I will just scan items. It's a fun process for the customers. If I also want to have both hands free, there are optional extensions where I can just put in my phone on the card, and I have both hands free. I collect loyalty points where I can then get additional goodies like uh, free gummy bears or some discount. I can get product information here in any language and I always know the total of my basket. So that is something where we learned that customers really love this feature. If they are on a budget, they know what they are currently spending. Um, I can now pay, but because we had uh, an alcoholic product in the basket, the retail associate needs to, the very first time that a customer purchases with Scan and Go, verify the basket. So he is doing that by scanning this code. The retail associates can then hold to a proof, and the customer will get the feedback. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. You are now verified. If you want, you can set up your face ID or fingerprint for the next shopping trip. You don't need a store associate. You can just use your face ID or fingerprint. Skip for now. I pay in the app. And if there is no spot check, that's it. I can check out using the Supreme Vector. So I will scan this code. Sorry. I will scan this code. And the gate at the store will then open. And I can leave the store through the common exit. I get my digital receipt in the basket in my customer profile and can then use it for returns, for example. And that's it. That's shopping with Supreme. And that wraps up our show. Big thanks to George Hajar and Liz Muentes for their coverage of the event. I'm Brittany Bohr with the Food Institute, and you can check out more of our great content by clicking on this playlist. Until next time, take care.